Hey, all this bobcat. I'm out here today with Jade. We went for a walk, and uh, just wanted to show you this little spot here. Looks like a pretty decent little meadow. If I uh, zoom in over here, the camera doesn't pick it up, but there's a deer right in the middle of the screen. Hey, buddy, is looking at us. You can hear some little birds behind us. There's Jade. The point of this video is, you see this big clearing? Now those not familiar with how the nature around here works in the Cascade Mountains, these are actually the coastal ranges of California, but uh, those not familiar with this area may not know what caused this big clearing. But, uh, for you people, this was a clear-cut log, okay? This area was logged, clear-cut. But you see, clear-cut doesn't actually mean what a lot of people would have you believe. See, that tree was left. A big stand up there. And this is all green. This was clear-cut in spring of 2016. This is spring of 2017 right now. So you can see, nature repairs itself. When you use good practices when logging, the, uh, the forest doesn't really mind. It's less invasive than even a forest fire. And it can be very good for the forest. This particular area was very, very overpopulated with trees, very densely forested. But uh, now it's a wide open glade where there's squirrels and rabbits have good places to hide. And that's uh, one of the problems we have around here. So when the top cover from the trees gets too thick, very little green stuff grows for the wildlife to eat. But up here, you can see, got all these little flowery things. Got lots of grasses. This is a native grass. Hey, Jade. Native grass. It's uh, related to rye. It's a green type of plant. You can't really eat it, but it's... the deer love it. And you can see, clear-cutting isn't as terrible as a lot of people would have you believe. 